This is part two of painting dungeon tile set. As you can see, the first coat from part one is dry. But as you can see, I've missed a few pieces. There and there. Well, I've missed painting the, 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 the black PLA. But it doesn't matter, it's just the undercoat or the base coat. Right. And again, I'm using Tamiya Paints XF77. Right. Now with this coat, I'm gonna finalize the color scheme. So it's a uniform gray throughout the whole tile. And you can see, load paint on the brush. There is paint on the brush. And we then paint the tile. Now you could paint these tiles using acrylics if you wanted to. Any art shop would stock a wide range of acrylic colours from greys to browns to blues to greens to yellows to reds to oranges. Whatever colour you wanted to paint your tile set in, they would have the colour scheme for it. As you can see, I am painting it in the grey. Be quiet, Alex. That's my little sunbutter making noise in the background. But hey, it's Aviv. That's what children do when they're home. They bug you. As you can see, and there we are. Make sure we get all the bits. And there we are. There it is. Painted. Of course, that's the other side I've got to paint as well. Because there's two sides to a tile. There's the painted side, which I've just done. And the unpainted side, which I have to do now. Again. We get our paint. And we paint the tile. As you can see, I'm painting the tile. There we are. That's that bump done. Now we continue painting the tile. And I'm running out of Tamiya Paint XF77. So I've been painting quite a few tiles. Uh, as you can see, I'm painting the tiles. You can see. Uh, this is just uh, an example of showing you how to paint the tiles. You might take a bit more time than I'm using. Uh, but this is just an example of how to paint your tiles. Now, it might be better to use acrylics. Because uh, acrylics are readily, uh, readily, say, are readily available. Get them untied there. Readily available. Right. And there, Dollar Booby Water with Tamiya Paints. Again, you can use Tamiya Paints, but they don't come in very big jars. That's about the biggest jar I've got. Right. It's, you know, it covers a few tiles, but it's not as much as acrylic paints. Because right. I have a tube of acrylic paint just here. And here is a tube of acrylic paints, if I don't drop the damn thing. And there we are. That's a tube of acrylic paint, as you can see. That's acrylic paint, that's the Tamiya paints. Acrylic is a little bit bigger. And it's just as durable as the Tamiya paints. Right. Well, I like using Tamiya paints, they're quite nice colors. And there we are, there is the tile painted. There we are. Side A, side B, side A, side B. Now let's leave it to dry. Let's put, let's put this away. Now you, can, you can buy acrylic paints from any good art shop. And they're quite useful. And they're just as durable as Tamiya paints. But you can use from Tamiya a low gloss top coat which gives it a nice protection and gives the tile a nice sheen. And I'll show you what I mean. Here is another box full of tiles. They haven't all been painted, but almost. And there is a tile with the low gloss, medium gloss top coat. There's a top, 
bottom, sides. Now this has been sanded. See, because these tiles have been painted, but there's a bit of doofy on the bottom here. But when it's finished and dried off, and got the top coat on, I sand it so it's nice and smooth. Because what's worse is when you put it on the table and it scratches your lovely kitchen table, the missus is not too pleased. Right. And they're painful. Right. So that gets sanded down so it's nice and smooth. Right. So there's no rough parts on it, right. on any edge. Right. As you can see, again, open lock here, here and here. So you can join tiles together. To do that and here's a bit of moss here which is a slightly lighter green that I've used all right so it gives it a, it breaks up the the exterior and of course I'm gonna do the same thing to these tiles because they haven't got the top coat yet but when they will do they'll match this tile so what you do is if you're going to do this here you make sure that once these thing these edges here all right are uniform across your tile set so any tile be able to match this one here so the pattern continues down your tiles right what's horrible is when you do one here and the sun it starts down here doesn't fit right so if you're going to do it here you make sure the next tile fits here so you do maybe three or four tiles where they start in the same place right then here again do another green green line or a green bit of moss that stops here and then one that stops here right so the next tiles again start on the other tile here so you might have seven or eight tiles with the pattern like this in different configurations but it ends in the same place on each tile so as you put them together they match and so right, the uniformity as you can see it stops here continues across here right so it matches so that the uniformity is the same just by ending this one here, start this one. so I've got a few tiles where it starts here and might end here, or starts here and might end here. So that then that could lock on that side, where on this tile it might end here, would match this one. So it continues. Right. That way it's consistent. And the more consistent you are, the better they look. Because here is. Some of those, one of those edge pieces, edge pieces I so, showed you earlier, right? which was the black PLA. Which one is this one? And you can see it's been painted. Right? As you can see, it's got the grey. Right? That was for my printer. Right? And in the initial phase, I was learning. Sticks, I was learning how to print these. So it's a little bit messy, as you can see, little greeblies just here and here but it, it adds to the authenticity of the wall of your dungeon doesn't make it look messy but you've got to be careful if you have too many greeblies in other words these fine little bits here right it will look messy so if there's a few doesn't matter it adds to the effect right you just got to dial in your printer and that's what i was doing here i was dialing in the filament right getting the right temperature the right extrusion rate, right, and the right layer height, right, because they're made from layers, right. In this case, it's 0 0.2, right. So this time might have taken half an hour to make, and it costs pennies to make. That's why I've got so many boxes up there, as you can see, right, there, there, and there. Right? And this is part two of how to paint. Dungeon tiles. Enjoy!